Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I would also like to thank the Secretary of State for advance sight of her statement. Madam Deputy Speaker, as we've heard, the opportunities of AI are almost endless. It has the potential to transform the world and deliver life-changing benefits for working people, from delivering earlier cancer diagnoses to relieving traffic congestion or providing personalised tuition to children. AI can be a force for good. And it's already having a positive impact in the present. In NHS hospitals such as the Huddersfield Royal Infirmary, AI is being used now to help patients, cu help patients cut waiting lists and to save lives. The Labour Party wants this technology to be available in every hospital with our Fit for the Future Fund. But to secure these benefits, we must get on top of the risks and we must build public trust. We welcome the announcements made last week at Bletchley Park. The future summits in South Korea and France will hopefully lead to more agreement between nations about how we make this new technology work for everyone. The AI Safety Institute will play an important role in making this new technology safe. Labour supports its creation, but we do have some questions. It would be good to hear the Secretary of State explain why the new institute is not keeping the function of identifying new uses for AI in the public sector. As the Institute is taking all the AI expertise from the task force, it is also unclear who in her department will be carrying out the crucial role of identifying how the public sector can benefit from cutting-edge technology.